What is the worst part? Ah, uh, the worst part, Japanese girl. How long have you been in Japan? I have been here now around two months. It's eight months. Two months? Two months as well. Start of my sixth year. Fourth year in Japan. I stayed in Japan for five years and then I went back to Fiji and I've just come back. So this is my second month here. One month. One month. <laughs> <laughs> So what are the things that you love the most about the Japan? It could be like the people, the culture, or even like the food, whatever is fine. I want to say Japanese girl. Yeah. Don't you like <laughs> the peaceful city? The peaceful the city, city. Yeah. yeah. Slow lifestyle. The poo, right? Because I think that like other city in Japan will not have that kind of peace. Yeah, right? mostly about the the poo. I love Daiso. <laughs> Daiso. <laughs> okay, that's it. What I really like here is because of the nature. Second thing is that my dorm is literally with the sea view. Fell in love with Japanese culture. Japanese people seem like a sh shy people at first. They start drinking and get you to know a little bit. Uh -huh. They just go insane. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. So once I went partying in, in Shinjuku in Tokyo, we just met this random guy that was lying on the floor next to this guy and start talking <laughs> with my really bad Japanese. He was drunk, really drunk. Me too. He just told me, you know, it's my birthday and we can go to this nightclub nearby and it will be free for us because he was alone on his birthday. So we, me with my other international friends got with him on his birthday to this nightclub for free because it was his birthday. I don't know Sorry. how to react. <laughs> Should we sad for him or <laughs> happy for everyone? I came to Beppo, I think it feels more like home. We ha you have both the mountain and the ocean side. I get one to say sense of security, like I'm able to walk at night without oh. being... Yeah, we actually didn't meet with many Japanese people. Oh. But with those people, I found they're very kind, actually. So let's go on to the spicy question, shall we? All right, wonder. <laughs> yeah, some spicy, spicy questions. questions. Yes. What do you hate about Japan? Oh. I, I want to say red trip. They, they follow the rules to the T. Even if it doesn't make sense, they will follow it to the T. If, okay, so from my experience in Tokyo, I hated the train. In the morning, I always had to take the train to school. So getting on the train, it was just very... Excruciating because you have to be squished and then wait until you get off at your stop. And then, if it's not your stop and you're at the door, you'll be pushed out immediately. So, that's what I hate it. Convenient, but not for me. <laughs> Too many restrictions, it's because of your safety, right? You, you can know, be flexible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> nonsense, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the bad was like they weren't opening up enough because. Every country was open except for Japan. That was a very bad thing. It's because of the very, very strict procedures. Exactly. It yeah. doesn't have to be. It doesn't, you know, every, it, you know, lots of people tell me that's how Japan is a successful country. They're running the world. But there are other countries too that do. I need to eat too much. Yeah. Cut, 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 cut this off. <laughs> Maybe about the uh, people out joining the Japanese small groups. Mm. Oh. So actually for me, about the uh, six oh. year, I don't have uh, many Japanese friends. Uh, I hope I could join to them group so I could enjoy the Japanese culture. I don't really hate much about Japan, but I guess maybe it might be the hidden fees that come with everything. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, the hidden fees. What are these hidden fees? I don't know. I mean, mm. like if you're buying something, just be sure to ask whoever you're buying whatever from if that's the actual price yeah. you're going to end up paying. <laughs> Since I've been here, the fees. Everything has a fee, like banking fees, ATM fees, housing fees. It's a fee for everything. Like for the housing, it was key fee. I don't understand it either, don't ask me. And then at banking, I have to pay like 7,500 yen each time I want to transfer money, which is also crazy to me. I'm new here, so I, I haven't anything that I hate about Japan. She just arrived. Yeah, yeah. so I haven't yeah. really like She's in the looked at the here. negative. You're going to have an awakening soon then. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the worst part, Japanese girls are hard to get. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should cut that part. Have you ever tried? Yeah, of course I've tried. Um, oh. I, I've been I successful, but I also fail like most of the time, just fail. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's over. No, it's no. over. They're too shy. Well, I'm from Latin America, so it's we're like really like like yeah, the party, like, like partying. Yeah, we just go around yeah. with a bunch of people, and it's really easy to get going with people, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not used to it, so perhaps I just at first scared them because I met them once. <laughs> I'm like, hey, do you want to go out? And they say, yeah, yeah, I'll text you, I'll text you. And they never text me. And they're like, hey, are you free? And they were like, no, I have a lot of stuff to do and I have Baito and school. I'm like, this girl doesn't want to do anything. Well, I think that's it for the interview today. Yeah.